So we have an enemy on the maze, uh, and so that's good enough. But you know, it doesn't really do anything to the cat. It doesn't do anything to Jixer. So, you know, we want this to be fun. So if the bat touches Jixer, then something should happen. So to do that, we need to go back to Jixer. And uh, remember our go to front block here? We're gonna need that again. Let's add another one. Besides the go to front, we will need uh, the show one because sometimes things may happen and we will only we want it to go to front and show too so let's do that now remember that we are going to have Jixer start around here somewhere so that's the starting point you did not see that but when I moved it to that location the X and Y numbers change so I'm gonna put this here and just gonna um, move everybody let's see what happens if that and just in case you do this mistake I want to just be able for you to find yourself back again so the cat did it, but not the mat, not the bat. So we need to add that little looks, go to front and show. It's like a double double command. It's like you better show up, or else kind of thing, you know. So if let's say you did the mistake again, you pulled that up, you did the mistake. Everybody shows up to the party. You see that? All right, let's go back to Jixer. We're gonna tell Jixer that if you touch the bat. You go back to where you started from. So remember, this is where we started from. Negative 175 and Y is 120. So let's go to control forever. And then under forever if, and then, and then under sensing, if touching, remember we're talking to Jixer here. See how it's highlighted? Jixer's highlighted. And we're telling Jixer, if you touch the bat, then go back or glide back home or where you started. Make sure these numbers are the same. Negative 175 and 120. Do you see that? These two numbers are the same. And while you do that, while you go back, I want you to say something for an amount of time. So say, oh no, you got me or something like that. And don't say that for two seconds because that's kind of too long to wait for that for one second. Do one point, I don't know, two five or one point five. Let's see it when work now. Let's see what happens. And boom, there we go. All right, so that's that. One more thing before we uh, finish this section here. We are going to then add a collectible. Let's do this star here. A cat that likes stars. How is that? We're going to put this in a very tough spot so that we are forcing the cat to, we are forcing the players to think a little bit for themselves here. So this is our collectible here and we put it in a very tight spot. So it has to move from here over here to here and not get caught. So now we're going to tell the collectible that when we click the green flag, again, we're going to do a double command here. Uh, it might be a little bit too much, but we want to make sure that this happens. When I click the green flag, I want you to show up and I want you to come to this location. So remember that when I move my objects or my sprites, these X and Y numbers change too. So I'm gonna place it right here. So that way it looks like the bat is protecting it. Um, I wanna place it there. I'm gonna go back to controls. I want you to forever, if and then, if you touch Jixer this time, we're telling the star that if you touch Jixer, you're going to hide because of course Jixer uh, got you. So collected you, so there you go. And that's pretty much it. I think we may wanna add a few more blocks. Maybe you haven't used this one here. Broadcast, let's say a new message game over this sends a command to uh, whoever receives it so we are going to tell Jixer this um, send a command game over so we need to go back to Jixer and we're going to tell Jixer that if you receive game over where is it when I receive game over Jixer when I receive J game over I am going to glide back to the beginning you could try that forever let's do that forever just in case we can, we're going to change that forever let's see what happens we don't need that forever glide back to the beginning and since it's way over here um, about a couple of seconds to glide back and have it say something for the player have it say 
um, say in two seconds say let's do it again let's do it again all right so let's try it out now we got a nice little skeleton of our game here and here we go don't get caught don't get caught just go down here this way this way this way uh, don't get caught don't get caught and let's see what happens when we get the star boom oh no you, oh, you know the bat touched it while it went home and said oh no but there we go again let's do it again and so then the player clicks in the green flag again all right so um i think that's it for now so if you are interested in keeping going on this we can definitely make this uh, better we can add stages we can add other collectibles uh, there's only one um, enemy here um, some of them have more than one enemy some enemies patrol at certain areas differently like rectangles or squares um, an exit door that we didn't do um, you know so there's a lot to do here there's a lot to do with scratch so if you are interested let me know and we will keep doing this until we get it into a nice pretty workable game thanks for watching